Hello sports fans and baseball fans, I got another Status Pro game for you. It's Sportsman Z with the Status Pro Game of the Week. And I don't know, I don't do them every week, but anyway, this that's what I'm going to, that's, I'm sticking to it. Uh, before we get underway with the game and the details of the game, I want to remind everybody, if you're just uh, happening onto the channel, hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. And let's get on with the game. Today, it's going to be the 1978 Milwaukee Brewers taking on the 1978 California Angels. Pitching today for the uh, visiting Brewers will be Moose Haas. And pitching for the homestanding California Angels will be, you know it, the uh, Express, Nolan Ryan. So Nolan Ryan on the mound for California. And the uh, lineups for the, uh, for the um, visiting Brewers will be Paul Molitor at second base, Robin Young at shortstop, Sixto Lezcano in right field, Gorman Thomas in center field, Cecil Koopa at first base, Ben Ogilvy in left, Sal Bando at third, Don Money at DH, and Charlie Moore will be doing the catching. For the California Angels, we will have Landro, Ken Landro in center field, Bobby Gritch at second, Rick Miller in right, Don Baylor at DH, Carney Lansford at third, Ron Jackson will be playing first base. Rance Mullenix will be at short. Lyman Bostock will be in left. And Harry Humphrey will be the catcher today. So, um, without any further delay, let's get on with the game. And the first batter is Paul Molitor for Milwaukee. And he draws a PBZ, so we will... Uh, pick another card and that's a PB8 and so uh, Nolan Ryan is a 2-6 to six, so this will be off Molitor's card and uh, the random drawing is a 54 which is an out and then we look at the out section and all go F4 no error so that's one out and he flies out one down Next up is Robin Yao. He gets a PB7. That's still not Nolan Ryan in charge. So it's Robin Yao, and he gets a random 65, which is going to be an out. And he is, uh, what is he? He is an RN, and RN says F2, no error. So that's that. And he is out, and there's two down, and that brings up um, C. Stolescano, and that's a PB7, so Nolan Ryan is not in charge. It is Six Stolescano. He gets a 56, which is a walk. So C. Stolescano is aboard with a walk, and that lowers uh, Ryan to a 16. And that'll bring up, uh, that will bring up Gorman, Storman Gorman Thomas. And he gets a six. That's Nolan Ryan's territory. And uh, a random 24. And the random 24 is a balk. The balk advances the runner to second, but Thomas is still up. And that is a PB6, which is also Nolan Ryan in charge. And the random 62 is a walk. So Gorman Thomas walks, and that lowers Nolan Ryan another one. And now we got two guys on with two down. And Cecil Gupa. That's a PB5, so Nolan Ryan is in charge on this one. And it's a random 67. And that's a wild pitch, and the wild pitch advances runners to second and third. But Cooper is still up, and there's a PB3, so Ryan is still in charge. And 
it is a random 53 and that's a walk and so ryan has loaded the bases of course this was the ryan of the early days we all know and that brings up ogilvy ogilvy comes up and uh that is going to be a cd so that is a clutch defense and i'm going to have to figure that one out Okay, it's going to be uh, the right fielder for California, and that is Rick Miller, and he is a two, and it is a random 45, and a 45 is um, line out, runners doubled off, doesn't really matter, it was a line out, that's all we need to know, because that would have been the third out, so Ogilvy was out. Even though they seriously threatened because of some control loss by Mr. Nolan Ryan. But Ken Landro is now up and he's facing Moose Haas. First card is a 5. Haas is in charge. He's a 2-5. to five. Um, That is a PB. Um, let's see. I think he got another one off. That is a PB3. Or wait, that's a random 55. Random 55 on um, Haas's card is a strikeout. So Landro strikes out. One down. Bobby Gritch. Bobby Gritch uh, draws a BD, so we will draw another one. It's a 7, which is on Gritch's card. And it is a 16, which is a first base. It's a base hit to left field. So it's going to be a single. Rick Miller is up with one down and one on. He gets a nine, so that is going to be on Rick Miller's card. And it is a random 86, which is an out easily. He is an LN, and LN says G times 4 uh, with, an, with a possible error. So G4 with a possible error. Let's find the chart. Okay, it's a force out at second. Second to shortstop. Batter is safe at first, so the situation stays the same. We will check for the error, and um, there is none. So we have the same situation. That was a fielder's choice for Miller. Don Baylor is up with, I believe, two down, right? Yes, two down and a man at first. That is an eight. It's going to be on Baylor's card. And it is a draw of 34, which is a strikeout. And that is it for California. So the Angels go a lot, a lot more quickly and quieter than the... Uh, and he, we did reduce, we had to reduce Haas 1. They went a lot more quietly than uh, Milwaukee did in the first inning. We go to the top of the second. Sal Bando is up. He gets a uh, CD, so we'll pick again because nobody's on. He gets a 7, which is on his own card. And a draw of 12, which is going to be a single to left field. So, Bando with a single. That brings up Don Money. Don Money draws a 9, which is going to be on Don Money's card. And it's a 34, which is a double to uh, right field. We're just going to stop the runners, uh, the runner at third, since there is no outs. And uh, man, 90 feet away, they're going to keep the infield back just because it's really early in the game. Charlie Moore is up, and there is no actually no outs. Um, that's a PB4. That's going to be on Nolan Ryan's card, and it's a 31, which is a strikeout. So there's one away. You had to know the strikeout was coming pretty soon, and. Uh, he, uh, Nolan Ryan could use another one of those right here. It's a clutch defense, so we will check the clutch defense. It's right field. That is, again, Rick Miller. He is a two, 
we will draw the card and it's a 46 and I think that's going to be the same pretty much the same rating line out uh, line out lead runner is doubled off base double play and so that's it but right now the Milwaukee Brewers walked away from that another threat yet again with nothing so Carney Lansford walks into the batter's box that's a CD so we'll pick it again that is an eight so um, that is going to be on Lansford's card and uh, and also yeah we have to reduce Ryan I forgot to reduce him too so yeah um, and that's a 38 and uh, 38 is a home run. So that's going to be a home run on um, Lansford's card. And that is one nothing California. Just like that. Ron Jackson steps in. That's going to be a PB7. So that will be on... Um, Jackson's card and it is a 62 which will be an out and he is an RN and that is going to be a G6 we will ground out to the uh, shortstop we'll check it for an error and it is an error 3 to 10 so now I'm going to have to see um how that works okay turns out that was an error we're back it was an error on Mullenix so um, let's see Jackson is on by an air in e6 and there are still no outs and Rance Mullenix or oh hold on and that was actually Yount but it's still an error so it's an error on uh, on Yount and Rance Mullenix is up with no outs and that is going to be a BD so let's see what that is okay we'll draw the card for the BD and that is a 25 and he is a zero so that is a triple to left center all runner score. So Rance Mullenix rips a sing and this is man, we gotta we have got to catch up on this. Uh, minus one, minus two, another run, and uh, yeah, so he's down to eleven right now. And that is a triple. And uh, the E6 guy scored, the guy that got on, Mullenix scored, or Jackson score. Mullenix is the one that hit the triple. So Bostock is up with nobody uh, out and a man at third. And that is a PB6, which is on Bostock's card. And Haas is getting jacked here. It's a random 53, which is an out, and he's an LN, and LN is G4, possible error, and there is none. So he goes, um, he goes uh, second to first, but the run would likely have scored because the infield was not in. So... Um, that's a fielder's choice, and that's the third run for the uh, the Angels. Terry Humphrey is up, and there's one down now, and that's a PB8, so it's on Humphrey's card. Not that he was probably all that good. It's a random 17, though, and that's going to be a single to center field. So Humphrey gets a single, and... Um, this, there was that was a run and then there was another hit and uh, Haas is really quickly getting burned up here Ken Landro is up with one out one on he gets a PB4 that's finally on Haas's card and it's a 67 which is a wild pitch and advances the runner to second and then you pick again and it's a PB4 which is also on Haas's card and it's a random 33 
and uh, that is going to be a strikeout. So there's two down with Landro striking out for the second time, I might add. And Bobby Gritch comes up to the plate, and he gets a five, which is on Haas's card, and that is a random 82, which is going to be an out. And he is an RN, which is a fly, bo a fly ball to, uh, or a foul out, foul out to the third baseman. But let's see if there was an error, and there isn't. So Gritch fouls out and ends the year. And Robin Yount is coming up to the plate in the third inning. He gets a PB6. Now, Nolan Ryan started the game out um, in you know, a little questionable order, but now he's got a three-run lead. That's a six, which will be on Ryan's card. And it is a 65, which is a walk. So Yount draws a walk. And did I, eh, maybe I reduced him. Sixto Lizcano is up. That is a PB10, so it's going to be on Lizcano's card. And it is a random 26, which is a double to center field. So runner will stop. They need base runners and runs. They don't need to be getting guys thrown out anywhere. So that is a double with the runner advancing to third. The Angels are ahead 3-0, so they're just going to let the uh, infield stay back. Gorman Thomas is up, which is a, and he draws a six, which is on Ryan's card, and it's a 43 which is a strikeout. And again, that's exactly what Ryan did the last time he had runners at second and third. Um, he, and with no outs, he struck out the next guy, and so that happened. And now it's a PB9, which will be on Cooper's card. And that is a 23, which is a single to left or to right field. So they will stop the runner, but another run, but a run does score. That is a hit and a run. He's down to 10. And there's only one out. And Ben Ogilvy is up. He gets a 6, which is on Ryan's card. And it is a 26, which is a strikeout. So Ryan needed that badly. And there's two down. And that brings up Sal, the man Bando. He gets a four, so it's on Ryan's card. And it is a random 15. And a random 15 is going to be a single to center field and knocks in another run. And now the Angels are on the comeback trail as they have scored their second run and made it three to two. And that is another hit and another run. And now Don Money, let's see if he is Money right here. He gets a 7, which is on his card. And it is a random 37. And that is a ho home run! Don Money is indeed Money. And that's the hit. 1, 2, 3. Ryan is, going, is not long for this game, folks. And that brings up Charlie Moore. And Charlie Moore will draw a four, which is on um, Ryan's card. And Ryan was cruising, but now he's not. And it's an 85, which is an out. He is an RN. We have to pick again because that's a blank card. And I'll go G5 with a possible error. We'll check for the error. And there is none, and Charlie Moore is out. And I believe that that is the final out. They get uh, one, two, three, four, five, and they take a five to three lead. We're going to the bottom of the third with a score five to three with the um, Milwaukee Brewers of 1978 losing to the, the California Angels. 
Or, or no, no, the other way around. The California Angels, 1978, losing to the Milwaukee Brewers of 78. Rick Miller is up. He gets a BD, so we'll pick again because nobody's on. We're just starting the inning here. Uh, he gets a 7, and that is on um, Haas's. It's on his own card. It's on Miller's card. And it is a random 82, which is an out, and he's an LN. And I'll go G6A. We will see if that was an uh, error. And it is um, 6 to 10. Um, 6 is... So that isn't an error, I don't think. And, uh, and Miller is out. And that is one out, six to three. Dan, Don Baylor is up. That is a PB7, and he that it means it's on his card. And that's a 78, which is an out. He's an RP. RP is L1. So, um... Not, okay, let's look at... Okay, that was a line out to the pitcher and uh, for Baylor, so... Two down. And Carney Lansford up at the plate. And that is a PB10. Uh, that will be on Lansford's card. And it is a random 34, which is... A double so that will reduce um, that will reduce Haas another one both I think both pitchers are destined to be leaving this game Ron Jackson is up with two down and a man at second as a seven it'll be on Ron Jackson's card and that is a 57 which is an out and he is an RN and uh, that is a 35, random 35. Or where, no, wait a minute. All right, I'll go out five. So that is a, uh, an F, I'll go F5. So that is a foul out to the third baseman. And no runs come across for, um, for California there. Um, Okay, we're back for the top of the fourth. Um, Paul Molitor is up. He gets a PB6, which is on Ryan's card, and it is a 14, which is a single to left field. So, yeah. Single, and it reduces Ryan to three. Robin Younts up. Uh, that's a PB7, which is on Robin Younts' card. And it's a PB38. 38 is a home run! And that is it. That, well, it is. That is it for Ryan. So, uh, Yount hits a home run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Losing the cards over here. And uh, that is... Right now we're we're going off just the batter's card until we can get somebody warmed up, and I'm going to say that you got to warm people up. So um, the Angels are going to warm up Ken Brett in the uh, bullpen, and C. Stulezcano will be up, and it's going to be off his card because Ryan is out of um, uh, reduction points. And that's a random 65, which is an out, and he is a uh, an RP, and RP is F5, so that's one away. So let's see, F5, one down, Gorman, Stormin, Gorman up, and he gets a 32, and a 32 is going to be a strikeout, so there's two down. And they will bring in uh, Ken Brett with two down. He's and 
Cecil Cooper gets a Cooper gets a PB10, which is going to be on Cooper's card, and it is an 84, which is an out. And so Cooper, um, let's see, he was an LP, oh yeah, all right, and he's an LP, and LP is uh, FD9, which is probably deep fly out to the right fielder, so... So they get two more runs though, and the Milwaukee Brewers lead seven to three. Six is up for the um, Angels. And by the way, I do have the the Angels are the home team, and I have them on the uh, right hand side with the Brewers as the visiting team on the left hand side. Even though in Status Pro it's the other way around, but that's because that's how I'm used to it. So that's how I'm doing it. But anyway, you got Rance Mullenix up here in the, in the bottom of the fourth with the Angels with his Angels down seven to two or seven to three. That's going to be a PB six, so it's going to be on Mullenix's card, and it's a random sixty six, which is an out, and he is an LN, and that is an F nine, so he flies out to right. One down, and Lyman Baustock is up, and he gets a BD, so we'll pick again. Uh, that is a 7, so it is on Baustock's card, and it's an 82, which is an out, and he's an LN. And I'll go G6A, so we'll check for the error. And uh, 6 to 10. So uh, the short, or the, uh, yeah, the shortstop for the Brewers, and it's, uh, let's see, no, it is not, and it's, no, it isn't an error, so that is an out, and Bostock is out, so uh, he goes six to three, and Terry Humphrey is up with two down, and that is a PB8, which is on Humphrey's card, and that's an 82. He's an RN. And an R I'll go G6-3 with a possible, or G3 with a possible error. And there is none. So Humphrey is out. And that is, we'll just say 3-1. to one. And no runs come in for the Angels in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth. And um, Ben Ogilvy is going to greet Ken Brett. In the top of the fifth with what it's a pb7 so it is on ogilvy's card and it's a 57 which is an out and he is an lp i'll go f4 with just an out so ben ogilvy is out f4 sal bando comes up and that is a PB4, so that is on Brett's card. And it is a random 31. And 31 is a strikeout, two away. Bando with the K. And up steps Don Money, the Money Man. And he was Money the last time, and that's a CD, so we'll pick it again. That's a 9, so it'll be on Money's card, and it's an 11, which is going to be a base hit. He gets a single, and uh, that'll reduce Brett to a 9, and bring up Charlie Moore. Charlie Moore gets an 8, which um, is on Charlie Moore's card, and it's a 38, and 38 is an out, and he is an RN. And that goes, I'll go G3 with a possible error, and there is no error. So he goes, we'll say again, 3-1, to one, and no runs come in for Milwaukee. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and uh, in the fifth, yeah. 
So Haas is still out there. Um, he gets a PB7, which is on Landro's card, and it's a 25. Might not last long, though, because that's a triple. That is a triple to um, center field. So Landro leads off with a triple. And that does reduce Haas, another one. Bobby Gritch is up. And uh, he gets uh, a BD. So um, we'll check the BD. The BD zero, so we will draw the, the card. It's a 25. Um, and that is a triple to left center all runner score. So it's back to back triples that end up scoring another run. And uh, that is another two off of Haas's, and that brings up Rick Miller with a man at third and no outs. And that's a B, uh, P, uh, PB6, so that'll be on Rick Miller's card, and it is a random 53, which is an out, and he is an LN. LN is a G4 with a possible error, ground out to second base, um, without the infield in, um... I'll go, um, oh, wait, a ground ball to second base, and then there is no error, so he's thrown out, but the run does score. That'll be a fielder's choice, because the infield was not in. And now the Angels are plotting a comeback here with Don Baylor up. That is a PB8, so it'll be on Don Baylor's card, and it is a 77, which is an out, and he is an RP, RP is an F6 with a possible error, and there is no error, so he goes F6, and there is two down, and Carney Lansford up. Carney Lansford gets a 9, so it's on Lansford's card. And also, I have to reduce him another one for that run. And that's an 87. It's an out. He's an RN. I'll go G3 with a possible error. And, um, and the error is none. So, Lansford is out. But uh, they do get two more runs. And it is now 7-5. to five And we go to the top of the 6th. And also, I'm going to announce that the Milwaukee Brewers are going to get some, uh, going to get some stuff going in their bullpen. They're going to get Jerry Augustine up. So Jerry Augustine is up in the Milwaukee pen, and um, Paul Molitor is up at the plate, top of the sixth. Yes. And Ken Brett's still going strong, um, and that's a PB5, which is on Brett's card. He's in control, and it is an 87, which is an out, and Paul Molitor is an RN, and RN is a G4A with a possible penalty, or a possible error, but there is no error, so there's one away. So four, he goes um, four to three. Yount is up. They would like a couple more runs here. Nine, it's going to be on Yount's card. And an 86 is an out. He's an RN. All go G4 with a possible error. And there is no error, so he's out. And there's two down. And that brings up Sisto Lescano. And Sisto Lescano gets an 11, which is um, on Sisto's card and that's a 51 which is a walk so that'll reduce uh, Ken Brett another one man aboard with Thomas up he gets a six that is on Thomas's card it's a 56 which is a strikeout so Gorman Thomas you had to know that was coming too we're going to get some action in the uh, California pen, even though we don't have to. Um, Chris Knapp is going to get up in the California bullpen. And uh, we are going to 
of Cecil Koopa is going to be the uh, batter here in the sixth, right? All right, now I know, I know what happened. I got a little sidetracked. But anyway, we are, in fact, in the bottom of the sixth inning. Ron Jackson is up for California. Jerry Augustine is the new pitcher for the Brewers. And that is a, and he is an RR10, so we'll put this back to 10. And that is a PBZ, so we'll draw again. That is uh, an 8, so it's going to be on Ron Jackson's card. And that is a 54, which is an out. And he is an RN, and I'll go F4. F4 with just an out, so uh, that is it for Ron Jackson, F4 in the bottom of the sixth. Um, Rance Mullenix is up. That is a PB7. That means that it's on Mullenix's card. That's a 65. That is an out. And he is an LN. And LN goes F2. And that's two down. And that brings up Lyman Bowstock, and he gets a 7, which is on his own card, and it is a 56, which is an out, and he is an LN, and an LN um, is all go F9, and it's just an F9, so he's out, and no runs come in for California in the 6th, we go to the top of the 7th. We'll be greeting not Ken Brett, but actually Chris Knapp. And so Chris Knapp is coming on in the seventh inning, which means that Ken Brett went um, two and a third, and that brings in Knapp. And Cooper is up, and um, Knapp is an RR8, and that's right where it is right now. And that is a PB7, which is going to be on Cooper's card. And it is a random 62, which is an out. And he is an LP, and LP is FD9, fly out deep to uh, right field. That's one away. Ben Ogilvy is up. Ogilvy gets a 5 and that will be on the pitcher's card Chris Knapp and that is a 67 which is going to be an out and uh, Ogilvy is an LP and I'll go G6A with a possible error and uh, the error is none so that will be 6-3 and that's two down and that brings up Sal Bando with two down nobody on PB is a CD, so we'll pick again, and that's a 3, so it'll be on Knapp's card. And it is a 64, which is an out, and he is an RP. And I'll go G3 with a possible error, and there is no error, so he goes, we'll call it 3-1, to one, and that is an out for Milwaukee. They're out of the inning, and we go to the bottom of the 7th, moving right along. He is up for the... Um, California team in the bottom of the seventh with the Angels of 78 losing to the Milwaukee Brewers of 78 by the score of 7 to 5. That's a PB7, and so that will be on Humphrey's card, and it's a 16, which is going to be a base hit single to center field, and that will reduce Knapp. By one or no no not nap it'll reduce uh, Augustine by one so Humphrey with a single Ken Landro is up um, that is a PB9 so it'll be on Landro's card and it's an 86 which is an out and that he is an LN and LN is GX Four, with a possible error. Uh, GX4 is force at second, second to shortstop. Batter is safe at first, and let's see if there was an error. And uh, 
there isn't so that's what the situation is man at first one out this time that was a fielder's choice Bobby Gritch is up uh, Bobby Gritch gets an eight which is um, Bobby Gritch's card and that's a 34 which is a strikeout so that'll be two down two down and Rick Miller is up and he draws a CD um, clutch defense um, and that is the shortstop and the shortstop for the um, Brewers is a two that's young and let's see it is it's an error on um, no it isn't it's it's only not nine to nine to ten nine to ten would be an error so I'm, I'm reading that as that's an out so I don't know who's a nine in the world but or a ten but it ain't yeah so he's out Rick Miller's out and uh, no runs come in for California we go to the top of the eighth um, and I'm gonna reshuffle Milwaukee is up with Don money and he gets a Don money gets a BB 12 which will be on his card and a 25 which is going to be a single to right field so Don money gets a hit that takes one off Chris Knapp Charlie Moore is coming up and he gets a 12 which will be on Charlie Moore's card and that's an 11 which is a single so you've got um, two runners on with no outs and Knapp goes down another one Knapp is getting hit here Moore is up that's a six that'll be on Knapp's card finally and that's a random 51 which is a wild pitch and advances runners to second and third um, they will let's see um, yeah the California is going to bring the infield in because they got to now uh, we can't say the time is is on their side now Paul Molitor is the leadoff batter is up that's a two it's going to be on Knapp's card and that is a random 72 which is an out and he is an RN and uh, an RN is a fly out to left field okay that was just a fly out with nobody advancing because it's an uh, OBRC at third base with a throwing four and bow stock and so they're gonna just stay right where they are um, so that is Molitor F7 Robin Yount is up there infield still in that is a six it's going to be on Knapp's card and it is a 43 which is a walk and loads the bases up and knocks Knapp down another one um, uh, they are going to keep the infield in Lescano up at the plate that's a PB7 so it's on Lescano's card it's a 37 which is a strikeout and it's two down that was big for Knapp he needed that to hold to keep hold, having a chance to keep a hold of them here and now Thomas is up he's walked once and struck out three times this is on Knapp's card and it is a 52 which is an out and he is an RP and all go G6 we'll check it for an error though and there is none so um, Thomas is out with California sending Don Baylor up against Augustine who is still out there and the infield is back and the outs are back to zero and Don Baylor comes up he gets an 11 which is on Baylor's card and it's a 12 so that's going to be a single to left field 
And so Baylor gets a single here in the eighth off of um, Augustine, who knocks down to an eight. Carney Lansford is up. He gets a... Um, He gets a CD, so I hate these things. Um, line out, same as shown, except lead OBR A is back safely. So I'm just going to say that's an out. Um, Lansford's out, with, uh, with a, and it was a line out. So there's one down, one on. Ron, uh, Ron Jackson's up. That's a nine. It's on Ron Jackson's card. It's a 31 on Augustine's card is, um, or, uh, um, no, it's a 31. It's on Jackson's card. It's a 31. And that is going to be a double to center field. So Jackson gets a double and moves the man over to third moves Baylor over to third and they are not going to send them um, and Milwaukee's not going to bring the infield in because they're ahead by two. Rance Mullenix is up. He gets a three which is on Augustine's card and it's a 72 which is an out and that is he's an LN and LN is a G6 with a possible error. Ground ball to the shortstop with a possible error. And there is no error, but you have to believe that the run comes in because the infield was back and they were willing to um, yield the run. So that's going to be a uh, that's going to be a ground uh, or a fielder's choice, and the run scores. And Milwaukee's a little closer now with Lyman Bostock up, or California is a little closer now. Lyman Bostock is up. That's a PB7, so it's going to be on Bostock's card, and it is a 13, which is going to be a base hit, and that's going to drive in another run, and that's another 2-3 right there, and Knapp is almost done. And this is turning into a really good game. In fact, it's a tie game, isn't it? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it is. It's a tie game. And now Terry Humphrey is up with two down and a man aboard, and that is an eight, which will be on Humphrey's card. And Humphrey's been good this game. That's a random 83, though. That is going to be an out, and he is an RN. And I'll go G3A, and that is no error. So um, that is a batter thrown wild, ball thrown wildly. Batter advances to, um, let's see. Ball thrown wildly, batter to second, and runner scores. But there was no runner, um, but it is an error. So it was at Cooper. That was Cooper on by an error by Mullenix, right? Yeah, so E6. He's on second. Ben Ogilvy is up. Um... With Ogilvy, I might want to sacrifice. Let's see. He's a sacrifice CC, though. That's probably not very good. It isn't. So we're just going to let him hit away. And that is an 8, which is on his card. It might work out anyway. 38, looking like it will. It is a home run by Ben Ogilvy. Just a minute ago, they were thinking about sacrificing. And no, that's not going to happen. We're going to hit a two-run home run. Uh, so, Ogilvy hits a two-run jack, and that is going to knock uh, Chris Knapp right out of the game, and that is going to bring in Hartzell. And so Hartzell comes in. That brings up uh, Sal Bando with no outs, and the, the base is clear. That's a 12, and he is, Hartzell is an RR6. And uh, that is a 12, which is going to be on Bando's card. And it's a 14. The hit parade continues. They get a single to left field. So 
uh, bando with a single and that's going to reduce Hartzell to a five and that brings up Don Money who was money in this game once and that's an 11 will be on money's card and it's a 47 and a 47 is a walk so that's going to reduce Hartzell he's almost he's almost ready to leave he didn't even want to stay out there as Barky Anderson once said they don't want to pitch to you so we've got a six that's going to be on Hartzell's card it's a 13 though it ain't going to help him that's a single to left field they're going to just keep the Merry going round going and they're going to just stop right there and uh, so the the bases are loaded with no outs and was that no this is Molitor right here Molitor steps up and uh, was that Molitor Molitor so Molitor is up now he gets a six, and uh, that is going to be on Hartzell's card. It's a 38. Let's see if that helps him. It uh, does. No, it doesn't. It's a wild pitch, and a run scores. He allows another run. This this game just won't end. So wild pitch scores a run, and Molitor is still up. And that is a PB8, and that is... Uh, off of Molitor's card and it's a 16 so that yeah keeps the uh, runners going that's another run knocked in and now Hartzell is done and they have to warm somebody else up and they're gonna warm up Tom Griffin I'm just looking the next guy up whoever appears that's it and Robin Yount is up with runners at the corners and um, no outs they got to hope for a double play. I mean, they're just down by a ton. And uh, this is on the batter's card. It's a 77. It's an RN. And he is a uh, line out three. So it's a line out to first base. Finally, there's just a, a plane out. With one down, that brings up C. Stolescano. They definitely need the double play here. That is a PB4. No, no, it doesn't matter. It's uh, 63. It's on the batter's card. And it is an out. And he's an RP. And I'll go F3, which is a foul out to first base with no error. And they got, they're getting lucky there. And now they will bring in Tom Griffin. And he is an RR8. And... Um, and I think that that was, is that it? No, that's not it. There's, there's only two out. There is only two out? Yeah, there is only two out. And that brings up Gorman Thomas, at least according to my spreadsheet. Um, and that's a PB5, which is on Griffin's card. And it is an 82, which is an out. And he is an RP. And RP is an F5. And that is the end of the inning, mercifully. But four more runs come in. And so now California, who tied the game in the eighth, is now uh, down by four. And uh, they're going to bring in a new pitcher. They're going to bring in Bill Castro. I didn't announce that he was warming up, and I don't really care. That's what I'm saying about that. Castro is an RR4 because he's the closer. And uh, that's going to bring up Landro to be the first guy that faces him. That is a PB3, which will be on Castro's card, and it is an eight random 18, which is a single to right field. So Landro greets him with a single, though. They got to get four runs, though. Bobby Gritch is up. That is an 11, so it's going to be on Gritch's card. And it's a 23, which is a single to left field. So they got two runners on. They need a lot of runs, so they can't risk running into an out. But they did start off with the first two guys getting on, and that is a PB5, which is on Castro's card. It's a 56, which is an out, and he is an LN, and LN is a GX1 possible. Um, it's a possible, um, let's see possible error 
there is no air, but if that was a ground out to the first, um, or a ground out to the pitcher, let's see if there was a double play. Okay, well, then I guess runners were advanced second and third to second and third. Rick Miller is out on a fielder's choice. Runners are at second and third, and Don Baylor is up. That is a PB12, which is on Baylor's card. That is a 13. That's going to be something, too. That's a single to uh, left field, and that draw, drives in a run. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, Castro is already out. I mean, he's now we're going off the batter's cards. Carney Lansford's up. That is a 51 on Lansford, which is a walk and loads the bases. And they're going to get Larry Sorensen. Yeah, Larry Sorensen can relieve. I didn't know Castro was this bad. Um, Lansford walks. And that loads the bases, and that brings up Ron Jackson. And Ron Jackson um, is a, we're working off Jackson's card, but it's an out. He's an RN, and RN is a G four A possible error. Um, there is no error, but let's see what G four A says. Better out second to first. Uh, other runners advance. So. Um, that, dri that drives in a run, but it's a fielder's choice run. And uh, that was Ron Jackson. They get two. Now they got runners at second and third with two down, and it's all up to Lance Mullenix. And uh, we're going to go off the batter's card, and it's a 63. It's an out. He's an LN, and LN is a GX4. There is uh, no error, and I believe that that's going to be the last out, and uh, that's it. Um, they do get two runs, though, and the final score ends up being 5, 7, 11. The final score ends up being Milwaukee, 11, and California, 9. That was quite the game. The pitchers were terrible, but that's how you got it. And uh, so that's the final score. 1978 Milwaukee beats 1978 California by the score of 11 to 9. The starters were Moose Haas and Nolan Ryan, but they were both gone quickly. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off.